Hello friends, this is Mansoor Al Hassan uh, from IT Markets Technologies. Today, uh, our objectives are uh, we need to uh, set up a snapshot uh, scheduling for AWS and environment uh, for EC2 instances uh, in Windows environment. Uh, unfortunately, we don't. Uh, uh, there is a lots of stuff about the Linux uh, snapshot scheduling on the over the internet, but unfortunately, we don't have much stuff for the Windows environment. So I just uh, decided to uh, go with the Windows environment and uh, spread about the uh, EC2 uh, snapshot scheduling for Windows in environment uh, for this we have some particular uh, particular requirements uh, we need to set up our uh, system uh, for uh, for Java environment and we also need uh, uh, API tool for AC EC2 instances uh, although AWS has the snapshot sh snapshot scheduling on their UI but uh, you can't uh, automate that process uh, for EC2 snapshot if you wish to uh, uh, automate the snapshot scheduling process so you need to go with the command line tool uh, uh, today we will see how or we will go through how we can set up an uh, environment for EC2 command line tool uh, and how we can uh, access the AWS API from the command line. Uh, so for this, uh, first we need a Java, a Java environment installed on your system which I have already set up. Uh, for If you wish to set up, go to the java.com, install, uh, install the latest version of Java available on the, uh, on the website and just to verify that uh, we are in good shape with the uh, in concerns of java environment we go need to go to the command prompt and type java space minus version here you can see that i have installed a java version of 1.8 uh, the uh, the requirement for aws api uh, is 1.6 or 1.7 but we are uh, you can see we are in good shape to go uh, and we are good to go uh, so the second step we need to uh, install uh, EC2 command line tool uh, command line uh, tool for EC2 instances AWS has a bunch of uh, tool for uh, their different services so uh, if you wish to go to the command line tool uh, so you have to be very specific about the services you are going to use uh, we are using and we are going to use the EC2 so we will download the EC2 command line uh, tool <coughs> so I just uh, go to the go Google and type EC2 command line tool uh, and go to this link this link will uh, take me to the uh, documents uh, from here from this link setting up the windows CLI I can download a uh, CLI tool for EC2 instances <laughs> you, here you can find the, all the documentation provided by the uh, AWS AWS also has a great documentation available on their portal if you wish you can go over with that link as well uh, from this particular link oh. Uh, you will have a 15 MB of a uh, 15 MB package of a command line. Yes, I wish to keep. Now the next step: show in folder and next step. Which I need to do is to extract on the particular uh, place uh, or a particular inter um, in order to set the variable. Just double click. Extract all. Extract to the uh, local C drive. Uh huh. Here, go to the program files. Create a new folder called EC2 underscore home. Mm. Here, I'm going to extract all the files on this zip file. The next step which I need to do is to set up an environmental variable 
for uh, API tool. So whenever uh, we call, we can uh, use the uh, some particular variable, so we can call it some particular command, so we can access from anywhere on from the command prompt. Uh, for this, we need to go to the my computer properties. advanced settings advanced systems and settings environmental variable the first variable which we need to set up is the java home in very environmental variable I just click on the new button and call this variable java underscore home and I need to find the path where the java is actually located or I just need to go to the CD-ROM C drive program files Java GRE and don't don't go with the bin folder just copy what I have copied and go till where I go and paste it over here just control E and okay the next variable which I need to create is EC2 home and I need to locate the path where I put the EC2 API tool here is the API tool and just copy the path paste it and you are done the next thing which I need to create is to edit the path from where uh, <coughs> first uh, from where uh, operating system will locate uh, the environmental variable for EC2 API 2 edit click on the edit button put the semicolon and here just parenthesis uh, ec2 underscore home parenthesis slash backslash bin now you are done with your path in order to verify this just go to the command prompt and uh, I will show you how you can verify these things these tiny stuffs uh, just go to the command prompt type cmd <coughs> uh, now from here I can go to the EC2 uh, home folder but by just typing I don't need to type the full path I just need to parenthesis EC2 underscore home and bang I'm on the current directory if I wish to uh, j uh, jump to the Java home directory I just need to cd parenthesis Java underscore home parenthesis close and bang the next thing we, we, which we need to do we need to set up a script I have already set up so because the recording time is not enough uh, for me to uh, I will just elaborate <coughs> okay just exit it I'm pausing record you uh, as I uh, as I show you, as I'm showing you that I already set up a script uh, which is uh, uh, which have uh, some uh, basic commands for the, in order to schedule the uh, snapshot. Uh, uh, actually, I don't have enough time uh, to write the whole script, so I already uh, I just stop the recording, type the all commands which I necessarily need. Uh, now I'm going to show you how you can, and I'm going to elaborate which command do what. Uh, the next thing which we need to do is need to create a AWS uh, home folder on C root directory. If this uh, folder contain a file name snapshots.txt which is the log file and the comparing file uh, in order to lead the old snapshot. We just need to go to the CD-ROM. just need to go to the CD-ROM create a new directory called AWS underscore home
right on to the C, uh, C root path we need to create a folder named a AWS underscore home <coughs> In this particular directive, we need to create a file name called snapshots.txt. Create a new file. Snapshots. Just click hit enter. Now we are done. Now I'm going to show you and I'm going to elaborate which command does what. Uh, I have set up some variables. Uh, this uh, this variable work for the AWS home directory where the snapshots.txt will save and this uh, file will be used to compare uh, in compare uh, in order to delete the old snapshot uh, this is the volume which I am uh, which I need to back up uh, from uh, particular in EC2 instances if you have multiple so you just uh, you can uh, define in the array uh, actually, I have a single volume in this particular EC2 instance, so I just use a single volume. If you have multiple, so you can define in array. Uh, this is the counter or limit uh, the snapshot uh, AWS uh, will keep. Uh, this is the AWS. Uh, this is the description, uh, friendly description for uh, AWS snapshot. Uh, here, this variable works for the AC uh, access key. Uh, if you wish to draw if you wish you can uh, define in the command as well by minus o and your access key and minus w with the secret key i have set up the variable uh, this very uh, this uh, this will set the uh, aws credentials uh, and next uh, i have uh, this this will set up the uh, aws uh, volume for a snapshot uh, uh, this will create a snapshot volume and pick up the volume uh, value from this variable uh, in this particular uh, for this particular command uh, and minus D will uh, define the description uh, description will be picked up from this particular uh, value so in next is uh, this this command will execute uh, for a particular uh, backup uh, snapshot and in in next snapshot uh, in next line uh, this will describe the snapshot value in the lower part uh, this will uh, take a loop and uh, take a counter for uh, four uh, four uh, and only keep four uh, copies of your snapshot this come uh, this uh, script will work uh, if you wish to uh, schedule you can go to the task scheduler and uh, schedule this script in as per uh, your requirement if you wish to run and you wish to have a issue to snapshot uh, uh, every one hour you can schedule the task at every one hour if you wish to uh, schedule a snapshot on daily basis you can schedule on daily daily basis but this script will uh, keep uh, AWS only for snapshot on the AWS S3 bucket uh, till then uh, we are uh, in next video we will see a lot of more stuff about the AWS environment and AWS stuff uh, till then thank you very much have a nice day